The Toyota Tundra is a big and mean truck and there's almost nothing you can't do to make it your own. What if that means you're tired of flashy paint or chrome? This is where blacking out your truck comes into play. Let's talk about the ways you can black out your Toyota Tundra. First, what is blacking out? Blacking something out means you take a part or parts of the truck that were painted or chrome and make them black, matte, gloss, or semi, black. What's out there for the Tundra? One of the first things many people choose to do is to black out their windows. It's cheap and can be done at your local shop or even by yourself if you have the time and skill. Not only does it look good, but it protects you from the sun and keeps the interior temperatures of your truck lower and it blocks people from easily seeing who's driving the best truck in town. Blacking out or smoking your lights will give you that tinted look to complement your style. Interchangeable parts means you can easily swap out the factory lights for aftermarket ones that come smoked right out of the box. Tail lights are anywhere from 180 to 370 for a complete set and headlights are around 300 to 500. A cheaper option is film or vinyl for around $60 that simply sticks over the plastic or spray coating for around $20. I would suggest not doing this because going this route never lasts as long as a replacement set. Make sure that whatever you do, it's not too dark or you could be adding some tickets to your blackout bill. One of the easiest parts of your truck to blackout would be the chrome tundra emblem on your doors. When they are matte black, they really add a very unique touch to your ride regardless of the paint color. Kits are around $40 or you can get a $6 can of Plasti Dip and spray them down for a quick and removable approach. Toyota wants all of those less fortunate behind you to know that the monster in front of them is a Tundra. While the logo is recessed into the metal of the tailgate and painted like normal trucks, you can really make it stick out with a set of Tundra tailgate vinyl decal inserts for cheap. It's an inexpensive and long-lasting touch that will set your truck apart from the rest. This is where things can get a little pricey, however, it is one of the first things people see when looking at your truck. They stand out, so it could be worth some investment. Some of the less expensive options would be dipping or wrapping. When you dip your wheels, you're referring to spraying them with something like Plasti Dip. Matte black Plasti Dip is a very popular option on wheels. You'll need more than one can, but you'll also want to have some backups for when they chip and peel over time. It's easy to reapply. Wrapping refers to covering the wheels in vinyl. While more usually better looking than dipping, it's not as easy to repair if you get curb rash or other dings. There are kits out there for about $50. Whatever you do, avoid spray paint at all costs. You will hate your wheels. New wheels are the most expensive yet longest lasting option. A set of black TRD Pro wheels will run you over 2,500 bucks but if you have the cash, they are fantastic options. Used wheels are a great option and can be far cheaper, but make sure you inspect them first. With a big truck comes a big grill. Plasti Dip and Vinyl Wrap can once again be an inexpensive friend for you. Dipping large surfaces can start to look cheap, so vinyl can look better and will last longer. Something dipped is easier to touch up though, so choose wisely. You can also find some blackout replacement grills. Those will be starting around $350 and go up from there, but it will set your ride apart, be the longest lasting option, and the most professional looking. The chrome bumpers can be a bit much. As with the grill and wheels, dipping and wrapping can have some nice results. Just keep in mind the rock chips. If you don't want to DIY it, you can get these Tundra bumper cap covers from Ecologic for $135 to $200. Since the interior is what you see most of, you might as well make it what you want, right? Dress up those flashy chrome vent rings with a Tundra AC Vent Ring Blackout Kit. For $32, you can really make your interior subtly unique. For another $41, you could change the control knobs to a very aggressive blacked out style with some different color options. Black door handles are the way to go, especially since touching them all the time leads to dirt and grime. For about $25 each, you can get black factory units. Plasti dip, vinyl, and paint are all options as well, but with constant touching while you may have rings on, watches, and more, along with just the oil on your hands, these materials will chip and degrade faster over time. The center console trim really stands out from the factory, but if you want a subdued look, ATJ Design has you covered for about $40. While you could attack this with Plasti Dip or Paint, a fast way would be this Tundra Steering Wheel Emblem Overlay Kit. No fuss, no chips, no hassle, just $20. Last but not least is the Start Button. This overlay from AJT Design not only changes the look of one of the first and last things you touch, but it's hard to beat at just $20. The blacked out look is popular and looks good. The best part is that there are so many different cost options to get you the look you want. Just make sure you follow all of your local and federal laws and have at it. 
If you want to see more videos like this on Tundras, Tacomas, and Forerunners, make sure you subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit that bell. We have plenty of products for your Toyota as well, as long with links to all of the products mentioned here over on EmpireOffRoad.com. Link in the description. Thanks for watching.